China's marriage market is a serious business. In this Beijing park, potential life partners are scrutinized for compatibility. These are the Chinese equivalent of personal ads or internet dating, but they're not exactly the same because it's compulsory to say how much you earn. This lady here, for instance, earns uh, less than 200 pounds a month, but she does own her own car. If you come and look over here, you can see this gentleman who I think is a real catch. He brings home more than 2,000 pounds a month and he owns his own home as well as a car. They might be matches made in heaven, but they sound more like mergers and acquisitions. It would be better if he earned a big salary. It doesn't have to be huge, but the more the better. There's no point in just being a nice guy. If you're poor, you can never be happy together. But on this Chinese TV dating show, one contestant went too far, <laughs> saying she'd rather be miserable in a BMW than be seen on the back of her boyfriend's bike. In a country that's still officially communist, it caused a scandal. But the contestant, Ma Moore, is unrepentant. Men make all sorts of demands on women, but they never think about what they should give to us in return. Now China's single scene is getting a shot of romance. Chris Wu calls himself a love coach. For 40 pounds a head, he teaches men how to attract women with their personalities, not their assets. You don't spend your life with someone's car or house. You spend your life with a person. So you have to be able to communicate your feelings. And many people overlook that. Success on the street for Chris's students is getting a date without revealing the state of their finances. It doesn't always work. But when the chemistry's right, it's proof that it's still love not money that really makes the world go round. Holly Williams, Sky News, Beijing.